spice has been banned in Virginia more than two years. But people addicted to the drug tell News Channel 3 you can still find it in stores all over Hampton Roads. News Channel 3 took action to uncover a loophole in the state's law. Investigator Jessica Larche has the story. Tell can be a place on earth if you're addicted to spice. I felt like I had to have it. The paranoia, hallucinations. I thought the whole apartment complex was going to come down. The pain. I remember throwing up blood right afterwards. Do you think that you would be alive today if you had not quit spice? I probably would have been in a hospital or would have committed suicide. Somehow I think it would have killed me. News Channel 3's digging reveals the gateway to the hell Charles experienced is wide open in Hampton Roads. Stick around. We'll soon expose the loophole in the very law aimed at banning the wannabe weed. You tried the blueberry? Yeah, so it's, it's my best seller. News Channel 3 went undercover in Peninsula Smoke Shops, where spice smokers tell us they've been buying the stuff. They say it's marketed as incense. The best bet is either to go with Joker or Anonymous. When we ask for it by the names addicts say they used to get it. Guess got Mr. Boo. Yes. What size? Uh, gram. Cashiers handed it over every time. Like three grams, so yeah. like three grams. Yeah. And you want something strong, like reservoir knowledge of a hedgehog? You're looking at an example of the loophole in the law. It's a portion of suspected spice Hampton cops recovered during a smoke shop bust in 2011, but not one person wound up getting charged. You see, the state code banning spice lists several chemical compounds that spice makers spray on plant materials to create a marijuana-like high. Those compounds are called synthetic cannabinoids, but the chemicals found in this bunch didn't specifically match what's listed in the law. No matches, no charges, one big loophole. Is there really any end in sight to seeing spice come into your lab? I don't think so. I think there's too many combinations. State forensic scientist Brian Meinweiser says tests for suspected spy samples almost always reveal they're laced with something, but state laws haven't caught up with how spice manufacturers are manipulating the compounds banned in the law. Several hundred base compounds that are synthetic cannabinoids, and they'll just take those structures and change them slightly. Um, to make them um, not controlled in the, in the United States. News Channel 3 sifted through more than a thousand Virginia Spice Court case outcomes since the law went into effect. We did the math. Turns out more than 70% of those cases go nowhere in court. Now, I dug even deeper into those dead-end cases in Virginia Beach, Hampton, and Newport News, looked at the lab results for that suspected spice, and they all pretty much said the same thing. Many of them came back with some type of chemical on those substances, but nothing considered controlled in the state law. This clerk at Cosmic Creations Hi, I'm Jessica Larche with Channel 3. leaned on that very loophole when we went back to confront him. He even showed us the chemical compounds listed on the package are not listed in the law. Why do you think it says it doesn't contain those things so it can skirt the law? Uh, I'm not sure. And this clerk at Outer Edge Gifts mm -hmm. had no problem admitting what she tried to sell us. Do you know why people are buying that? No, I don't. So you don't know that, that those are another names for a spice? So ask me questions. I'm not going to talk to you. Same story at Hampton Pipe and Tobacco. We're just trying to see if you're all aware that people are using that to smoke like it's spice. Are you aware of that? You can just walk in and ask for it and get it. Recovering addicts like Charles say that air of smoke shops being untouchable is what will continue to pave the pathway to hell. How far does it have to go? Now, we should tell you what the stores tried to sell us has not been tested. Mark Herring, who wrote the state spice law, says that he added language to the law that's supposed to act as a catch-all for newly created cannabinoids. But forensic scientists say they can't always testify to the nature of these manufactured compounds. Recent spice busts at bonsai locations on the peninsula are federal cases. And our research shows that the feds have had more success with their cases than the area jurisdictions we have investigated. Jessica Larche, News Channel 3.